Hey guys, Cruel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are here with a new movie reaction this time. New? What's the theme? The theme is for Aaron. You haven't seen that? That's the theme. We had a list of five movies that Aaron. You haven't seen that? And uh, the people at patreon.com slash blindwave chose. The Shawshank Redemption. Why am I getting Indeed. picked on? You're getting picked on because I feel like your you haven't seen that is so robust. 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 There's what a lot of really good movies. Like a lot of there. like a lot yeah. of genres. I just can't Very believe busty. that you haven't seen them. Yeah. And there's so many things happening. There were movies seen. in there like Gladiator. So. Seen it. There was others. Yeah. You need yeah. one. We'll have to have more of these in the future. And also for each of us as well. Absolutely. Because yeah. we haven't seen all movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We haven't. So, uh, we're going to have fun today and take Aaron through The Shawshank Redemption, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. I recently just watched this, this summer. Mm. This summer? Yeah. It's, it's not spring. summer yet. I, this last summer, I had watched it. That's like a nine year months ago. ago. You can have that with it. This or movie more. came out in the 90s. You can't say recently then. Yeah. I recently uh, had spaghetti in June. It's May. We're watching this over on HBO Max. Yes, if you want to watch along with this, there's full length available over at patreon.com. As well, uh, slash blind wave, patreon.com slash blind wave, as well, where this was also voted on. <laughs> Are we ready? We're ready, let's do it. Should I look at the credits? Yeah. Should I not look at the credits? Why not? Look at them. Look! Ah! Aren't you happy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Me too. If I had not seen that one, I would have missed it. Yep. <laughs> I didn't recognize the first name. Yeah, starring the Shawshank Redemption. That's where I keep my hot dog. I don't think it's a hot dog. It might be hot. Okay, it's been a while. I guess I've seen, I've seen this. Not recent. Look at that symbol in the. Uh oh. Devil piece. Bad combination. Is this an anger thing? Mr. Dufresne, describe the confrontation you had with your wife oh the night that she was murdered. You strike me as a particularly icy and remorseless man, Mr. Dufresne. It chills my blood just to look at you. Oh, way we described? By the power mm -hmm. vested in me by the state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. <laughs> two life One sentences. for each of your victims. So begin. Hmm. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. I mean, I learned my lesson. I can honestly say that I'm a changed man. Rejected. Why did he even talk to him? It's parole. Like, like that's it? Board, I guess. He just goes, talk to those guys, he just, they just reject him right then? It's that's something a... else? <laughs> yeah, it's an interview. Should be another step. No, two steps before at least get rejected. Well, the review is the first step, and then the interview. Uh-oh. So when Andrew Dufresne came to me in 1949 and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him, what? I told him, no problem. <laughs> Smuggle a, a woman in? <laughs> Rita Hayworth. Very, very famous actress. Mm -hmm. Pin up model. They were clapping about her. Welcoming in the new. Yeah, newcomers. Fresh right. meat. Do you speak English? Wow. Looks like he's young. Right? He is young. Like Baj Press. Morgan Freeman just he just, just always looked yeah. the same, I feel like. Every every move I ever see him in. But yeah. Clancy Brown looks so young compared to what I just saw him in with Dexter. <laughs> he does. Yep. Chubby fat ass there. The fifth one from the front. Put me down for quarter deck. Cool shot. Should I know exactly what they're betting on yet? Or is it just kinda like a You'll know. Yeah. Rule number one. No blasphemy. I'll not have the Lord's name taken in vain in my prison. The other rules, you'll figure out as you go along. That's Any it? Any questions? Yep. That's all you give? When do we eat? This is a learning experience right now, huh? Sure. You eat when we say you eat. You shit when we say you shit, and you piss when we say you piss. You got that, you maggot dick motherfucker? <laughs> On your feet. I believe in two things. Discipline. The Bible. Here you'll receive both. I'm sure God wanted that. The, Lord. the first night's the toughest. No doubt about it. Just make them walk around naked? They yeah. march you in naked as the day you were born. That's ridiculous. Skin burning and half blind from that delousing shit they throw on you. 
Somebody always breaks down crying. Happens every time. The only question is, who's it gonna be? Ah, uh, they're betting on who's gonna cry. Who cries first? It's as good a thing to bet on as any, I guess. Uh, if Chubby won. This was the first of the Morgan Freeman narration things. He credits this as that part of his career starting. <laughs> I'll introduce you around. Make you feel right at home. Trying to help make him comfortable so he doesn't cry. A couple of big old bull queers that just love to make your acquaintance. He voted on him. Me that oh, he's trying to make him cry. Mushy butt ears. <laughs> <laughs> Mushy butt ears. I don't belong here. We have a I ain't cheap. It's the fat guy. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm not supposed to be here. Open that cell. <laughs> That's what God would want. It's the warden that cares about that. He doesn't give a shit. I guess. Everything's just too short for him, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's a tall guy. He is. It's weird they are allowed to have belts. They were allowed to have belts in the 40s. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, you said that and the next guy did not have a belt. Do they all have belts? Uh, no, some of them have just, suspenders, just some of them have belts. Like that guy. Pack has Who's a belt. That guy? That guy he has like suspenders. That guy has suspenders. <laughs> Maybe it's something you can earn, or... Uh, He's got a denim jacket. Yeah, he has a purse. It's probably a thing, too, where it's like... They take it away if it's a... If they think it's a problem. Sure. I know a lot of... Jails and prisons will do that kind I mean, of they stuff. I mean, also, they're wearing boots. Ugh. With boot laces. Extra protein. You are what you eat. Are you... Are you going to eat that? And... And planned on... Do you mind? The maggot? Mm-hmm. He wants it? Mm-hmm. Jeez. Tough place. Oh, it's <laughs> <third. laughs> <Real> tough. <laughs> How's that horse of mine doing anyway? Do you? Hadley busted his head up pretty good. Doc what? had already gone home for the night. Jeez. Yeah. Man, his first night? Yep. Crying out shouldn't be there? And they were betting on it. Wife killing banker. <laughs> Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. <laughs> you, you gonna fit right in. Everybody in is innocent. Did you know that? Hey, what what you in here for? Didn't do it. Lawyer <laughs> fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. A what? A rock hammer. Thank you, Mr. Uh... Red. Hmm. Name's Red. Red. Why do they call you that? Maybe it's because I'm Irish. New <laughs> <laughs> brain! We're running low on hex Get on back and fetch us up, Sal. No bad feeling. How far back you gotta go? Go far back. Oh, the hex side is. All the way to the back. That kind of looks familiar. Hmm. Get this in your eyes, it blinds you. Honey. Hush. Oh, that guy. Eyes in the back of your head. I wish I could tell you that Andy fought the good fight and the sisters let him be. I wish I could tell you that. But prison is no fairy tale world. Jeez, not a fairy tale. He never said who did it, but we all knew. Thirty-five thousand. That's what he left me. Dollars? That's not. <laughs> Holy shit! That's great. That's like one in the sweepstakes. Uh, he was a banker. Is he gonna t give him some like information? Do you trust your wife? <laughs> oh, that's funny. You're gonna look funnier sucking my dick with no teeth. What I mean is, do you think she'd go behind your back, try to hamstring you? That's it. Step aside, Mert. This fucker's having himself an accident. You don't push him what? off the roof. Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35000 What did you say? You get the forms, I'll prepare them for you. Nearly free of charge. I'd only ask three beers apiece for each of my co-workers. <laughs> co-workers, get in. That's rich, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Jimmy, staring at? Back to work! Let's go, work! 
this tar in the room. Uh-huh. <laughs> Man, he was gonna throw him off the roof. He was. He was gonna have an accident. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Courtesy of the hardest screw that ever walked a turn at Shawshank State Prison. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up while it's cold, ladies. Hell, we could have been tarring the roof of one of our own houses. <laughs> we were the lords of all creation. <laughs> As for Andy, he spent that break hunkered in the shade. A strange little smile on his face. Hey, See, so hey. like, I don't even drink beer. Want a cold one, Andy? No, thanks. Gave up drinking. <laughs> I think he did it just to feel normal again, if only for a short while. Here she comes. The this is what I really like is when she does that shit with her hair. Oh yeah, I know. I've seen it three times this month. Uh, Gilda, are you decent? Me? <laughs> God, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Rita Hayworth. What? <laughs> Can you get her? So this is Johnny Ferris. That's her. I've heard a lot about you, Johnny Ferris. Take a few weeks. Weeks. Hmm. Wow. Uh, man, there's more of them every time. Oh, oh. No. Oh, no. Of a dick. You should know that sudden serious brain injury causes the victim to bite down hard. In fact, I hear the bite reflex is so strong, they have to pry the victim's jaws open with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get this shit? What they did do is beat him within an inch of his life. And to spend a month in the infirmary. Damn. Boggs spent a week in the hole. A month in the infirmary, a week in a hole? Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's fair. So I guess the hole would really suck. The hole's suck. supposed to be terrible. It'd be really bad, I guess, too, so I don't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> you done beat down the wrong person or something? What? what? <laughs> Andy saved him a lot of money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, not so much fun on the other end. Two things never happened again after that. <laughs> the sisters never laid a finger on Andy again. Whoa. Gosh. And Boggs never walked again. Whoa, jeez. Man likes to play chess. Let's get him some rocks. <laughs> what? <laughs> jeez. They go him through the, the rocks they pick out of the ground. And... Thank God uh, my years on a farm were during the time of the plow. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the power tractor. Uh-huh. Well, what the hell is it then? A horse apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh horse shit. Petrified. <laughs> I love the wheeze in the background. It's so good. <laughs> and then his hands had it in his pocket. Rita Hayworth herself. Oh, he got a Rita poster. <laughs> that makes more sense then. Like, how you can get a woman in here? <laughs> how will you do that? <laughs> I hate to deprive you of this. Salvation lies within. That's where he hit his hammer, isn't it? Toss and sales was just an excuse. Truth is, Norton wanted to size Andy up. Mm. He's tall. And he's good with numbers. <laughs> yeah. Needing him to do something for him. <sighs> <laughs> the jail Jake, where's Brooks? Jake. Andy. Man, I love that her job here. Brooks, how long have you been librarian? Oh, I come here at odd five, and they made me librarian in 19 and 12. Dang. And, and it's in the 40s? <laughs> Late 40s. As far as they're concerned, only three ways to spend the taxpayers' hard earned when it comes to prisons. More walls, more bars, more guards. Still, I'd, I'd like to try with your permission. I'll write a letter a week that can't ignore me forever. Sure can. But you write your letters, it makes you happy. So right. Andy started writing well, a letter a week. Eventually, <laughs> my change. Just like he said. <laughs> it's about to answer at some point. 
think I'm <laughs> cheating. Right? Too. He's doing their taxes. The following April, Andy did tax returns for half the guard <laughs> 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 Year after that, he did them all. He did them all. Including the wardens. The wardens, too! Just stop that mustard door. Please, Brooks, just calm the fuck down. What the hell? Stay back outside! What the hell's going on? Brooks, look at his neck. He's bleeding. It's the only way. It's the only way they let me stay. What? Come on, this is crazy. You don't want to do this. Come on. Put him down. And you heard his parole come through. So he's what? Uh, what? Up for? Yeah. It's crazy. 50 years. He doesn't even know what life's like outside the prison. He doesn't have like a retirement or anything, you know? No. He didn't work a job or nothing to where. <sighs> no social security yet, right? No. Where the fuck do you go? Right? Like, does he have family outside? And if he does, they don't probably don't know, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, if he had a sibling, his sibling could be dead and their family probably never met him. Fun. I can't believe how fast things move on the outside. <laughs> I keep thinking Jake might just show up and say hello, but he never does. I hope wherever he is, he's doing okay and making new friends. Maybe I should get me a gun and rob the foodway so they'd send me home. I could shoot the manager while I got it. Sort of like a, a bonus. <laughs> I'm tired of being afraid all the time. I've decided not to stay. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook like me. Tell Haywood I'm sorry I put a knife to his throat. Hard feelings, but man. Man, that's terrible. <laughs> Are those all new books? It's all this. You tell me fuck stick, they're all addressed to you. <laughs> <laughs> we now consider the matter closed. Please stop sending us a letter. <laughs> Please stop sending us letters. Uh, uh. He's going to play music to everything. get to hear Mozart. Andy? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. <laughs> Truth is, I don't want to know. Some things are best left unsaid. And for the briefest of moments, every last man at Shawshank felt free. Yeah, break the glass, isn't he? It pissed the warden off something awful. I am warning you, Dufresne. Turn that off! He's gonna turn it up? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. He's gonna lose all his... They're gonna break the glass. Look at Clancy, bro. And they got two weeks in the hole for that. Man, two weeks for that? I feel like I got a week and he like... Oh, my God. Two weeks. Send a guy to the hospital for a month. And it was as good as his word. He wrote two letters a week instead of one. <laughs> what? In 1959, the state senate finally clued into the fact they couldn't buy him off with just a $200 check. <laughs> and they changed and expand the library? The committee voted an annual payment of $500. An annual payment of $500. Just to shut wow. him up. 
Count of Monte Crisco. Hey. That's Cristo, you dumb shit. <laughs> By Alexandre Monte Crisco. Dumbass. Dumbass. <laughs> By the year Kennedy was shot, uh, Andy had transformed the story man, room smelling sweet. of rat turds and turpentine into the best prison library in New England. Right! Complete with a fine selection of Hank Williams. Keep all our shady dealings right behind the <laughs> God <laughs> proverb, whatever it's called. The God words. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, for the cybers. Times have changed. Tommy Williams came to Shawshank in 1965 on a two year stretch for B&E. Two years. That's breaking and entering to you. I was thinking maybe trying for my high school equivalency here. You helped a couple of fellas with that. I don't waste time on losers, Tommy. Damn. I ain't no goddamn loser. Tommy took to it pretty well, too. Boy found brains he never knew he had. <laughs> it's probably not as bad as you think. Yeah, it's worse. I didn't get a fucking thing right. Might as well have been in Chinese. Let's see how the score comes out. Yeah, well, I'll tell you how the goddamn score comes out. What are you doing? Two points right there. There's your goddamn score. Goddamn cats crawling up trees. Five times five is 25. Word problems. Fuck this place! Fuck it! But he did better than he thought. About six months left to go. Get a new cellmate in. Elmo Blatch. So he says, I got me this job one time, bussing tables at a country club. So I could case all these big, rich pricks that come in. So I killed him. Him and this tasty bitch he was with. <laughs> it's the best part. She's fucking this prick, see, this golf pro, but she married some other guy. <laughs> and he's the one they pinned it on. Damn. What amazes me most is you were taken in by it. Sir? Yeah, of course. No. Oh, it's all guilt. This fellow, Williams, is impressed with you. He hears your tale of woe and quite naturally wants to cheer you up. How can you be so toothed? Because you're making him money. Mm -hmm. Millions. What did you call me? Sir, if I were to ever get out, I would never mention what goes on in here. I'd be just as indictable as you for laundering that money. Don't you ever mention money to me again, you sorry son of a bitch. Not in this office, not anywhere. Get in here, now. I'm just trying to set your mind at ease, that's all. Sir, I, I didn't... Solitary, a month. Yes. What? Oh. Fucking warden, man. He's a man of faith. He can't say he's done anything bad. Out here? That's what the man said. Something in view, right? I have to know if what you told Dufresne was the truth. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Would you be willing to swear before a judge and jury, having placed your hand on the good book and taken an oath before Almighty God himself? Just give me that chance. Lose his money maker. Hope is a terrible thing. Damn, man. Looks what? Like, trying to run? Looks like he was making a run for it. You greedy wardens, man. Mm -hmm. It's the problem I've heard about like prisons is like they can just do running things, they they get money, and it's not for it's, profit. It's private, yeah. but they still get state funding and mm -hmm. stuff. And stupid, yeah. stupid. I killed her. Pull the trigger. I drove her away. Whatever mistakes I made, I paid for them and then some. That hotel, that boat. I don't think that's too much to ask. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get 
Busy living. You get busy die. What's he gonna do? No, I'm telling you, the guy's. He's talking funny. Hmm. I'm really worried about him. Oh, Lord. What? Andy come down to the loading dock today. He asked me for a length of rope. Rope? Oh, no. Let me see if everyone comes out. Damn it, new friend, you're putting me behind. Is he hanging or I got missing? a schedule to keep. You better be sick or dead in there, I shit you not. You hear me? What if he was dead? Well, then he wouldn't have anybody to be. He's missing. <laughs> he took his shoes and his suit. <laughs> All his laundry. I wasn't sure if the show, if the movie would be this kind of movie, if it'd be a different kind of movie. I kept writing down ideas and circling them and... Treasure comedy, depending on where it ends, right? Lord, it's a miracle! Man up and vanished like a fart in the wind. Nothing left but... To the Lord's name in vain. Some damn rocks on the windowsill. And that cupcake on the wall. Let's ask her. Maybe she knows. What say you there, fussy britches? Feel like talking? One big damn conspiracy! And everyone's in on it! Including her. <laughs> cling, 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 cling. <laughs> Big hole. Not that big. Big enough. I wouldn't fit in that fucking hole. Big. Look at that. I love that shot. All they found of him was a muddy set of prison clothes, a bar of soap, and an old rock hammer. <laughs> Damn near worn down to the nub. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, man. Geology is the study of pressure and time. That's all it takes, really. Pressure and time. That in a big goddamn poster. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, Andy's favorite hobby was toting his wall out into the exercise yard. A handful at a time. Dude, and then he can just, he can be that Steven guy or whatever, right? The <laughs> fake identity that he made up? Randall Stevens. Andy did like he was told. Buffed those shoes to a high mirror shine. <laughs> Took them with them. <laughs> the guard simply didn't notice. Neither did I. He's wearing them. I mean, seriously. How often do you really look at a man's shoes? <laughs> oh. Does he use the rope to help pull it through for him? Is that what he's doing? It's a great night, too, all the noise. <laughs> Can you fit in there? Andy crawled to freedom through 500 yards of shit-smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Or maybe I just don't want to. Right? So we gotta think, there just I'm might so, not be enough oxygen. I'm so anxious. Half a mile of shit pipe. Yeah. I don't think I could do 10 feet. I mean, after 20 years of being wrongfully imprisoned, I might. And finding the truth and being denied it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mailed it all back to the warden? Is that what this is? <laughs> oh, it is not. not it's the, the warden. police, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Portland Bugle. Daily Bugle. <gasps> yep. Spider-Man. <laughs> His judgment cometh and that right soon. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's oh, so good. don't worry. I've got all my information in here. It's going to be... Oh, no. Is it the Bible with like a little hammer slot in it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're fucked. You're next. Norton had no intention of going back quietly. 
Uh oh. I like to think the last thing that went through his head, other than that bullet, <laughs> was to wonder how the hell Andy Dufresne ever got the best of it. <laughs> That's my favorite line of the movie. <laughs> Keeps getting the points, I'm like, it must be done. And it's not done. It keeps going. <laughs> ah. Is he going to not be rejected finally? How old is he? I look back on the way I was then. A young, stupid kid who committed that terrible crime. I want to talk to him. I want to try to talk some sass to him. Tell him the way things are. But I can't. Rehabilitated. It's just a bullshit word. So you go on and stamp your form, Sonny, and stop wasting my time. Because to tell you the truth, I don't give a shit. <laughs> it seems a backwards from what he said previously. He was like, yeah, I'm ready to join the world. Well, just to hear from everybody else, too. Stop telling him what he wanted from there. Is he even gonna know what to do? Talk about being in here too long. Andy said he had a place for him. Andy said go pick up a rock. That's what he said. That's <laughs> so, so true. He did say that. <laughs> Man, same place. Same room. Same job. Here you go, bag these groceries. Jeez. Same grocery store. I hope the manager's dead. He died. <laughs> Seriously, we have no idea what happened. <laughs> Fresh room break, boss. That's a different boss, right? Yeah. You don't need to ask me every time you need to go take a piss. Just go. Understand? Habit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Making sure he's following rules or whatever kind of thing. Did I go just find some place never been before to find a specific wall and tree? Yep. I'd be fucked. You would never make it regular, yeah. ever. You'd be in Newfoundland. You can't find shit. a tree next to your house, probably. <laughs> Depending on where you're coming from, you'd be cut it down. You'd be stuck <laughs> in that shit pipe, going the wrong way. <laughs> Somehow you'd get turned around in a pipe that big around. We never <laughs> found him. <laughs> the, toilet's, the toilet's backed up, though. That'd be terrible. To be the clog? Yeah. Yeah, I it would be. Clog. I am the one who clogs. I am the one they plunge. <laughs> <sighs> the only thing I can think of is that it would be the gun. But I don't know why it would be the gun. Because, like... They couldn't find the gun? Yeah, because they couldn't find it. But why would you want him to go find the gun? Yeah, it looks like a weird rock to be here. It's just where he puts information for him to <clears throat> join him, maybe. I don't know. Like, is this a trick? <laughs> Ashton, could you gonna jump out? <clears throat> Can you fuck? imagine that's how this movie is? <laughs> Dear Red, if you're reading this, you've gotten out. And if you've come this far, maybe you're willing to come a little further. Remember, Red, hope is a good thing. Maybe the best of things. And no good thing ever dies. I will be hoping that this letter finds you, and finds you well. Get busy living, or get busy dying. That's goddamn right. What do you put up there? <laughs> He's still wearing a suit. <laughs> City walk around. <laughs> I can film that in Ohio. <laughs> Not with that water. No. 
funny in the sub in the subtitles too like they had that guy just called fat ass yeah i was like jesus that was his, his they, they didn't give him a name and then later on he was dead and i'm like well no wonder they didn't name him john favaro auditioned for that part because oh, he was known as like they need a big guy get the big guy and they cast him they they didn't want him he's like i can't just be the big guy and he had inspired him to lose weight <laughs> he started losing weight because he used to be a real big dude hmm. yeah all right aaron the longer movie yeah I took a lot of notes. There was a lot of things that, like, as it was going on, I was yeah. like, I don't know if this is what they're going to do with this or not. Sure. But, like, I wrote down, like, Rita, hide a hole in wall. Because I was like, that's a big poster, you know? Like, big poster. I've big seen poster. prison stuff where it's like you got to cover it up and hide the hole and stuff. Sure. sure. Also, I loved because the, uh, the warden's, his hidey hole was behind a picture that mm-hmm. meant something to him, you know? <laughs> one is faith and one is filth. <laughs> I guess, sure. But he's the one that has faith and that guy's the one that... Mitzvah. I think he's like using the, the the Bible and God and all that stuff yeah. and just running this shitty scams and all this other stuff that he's doing and yeah. I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah. Of course I guess worse things have been done in the name, but <laughs> you know but Yeah, but it doesn't make that any did, better. He did murder a man. I know. Right? <laughs> I hate that so much. I'm glad the warden. Tommy had a wife and a kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was Got an education, bettering himself. Yeah, and what did he do? He said, hey, I know the guy who really killed the people. This guy's innocent. Do the right thing. Yeah. Yep. yep. And it's like, dude, all right, well, it's like, I are can't, you willing to testify I, in front of a judge and a jury? I like, can't lose my money. right, I am. I can't lose my money, of course, you know? I need this. I can't lose right. my money. Can't take the chance of not having control over the person who knows what I've done. Yeah, all that stuff. I hate it. I hate him so much. <clears throat> it's yeah, it's one of the worst most hateable people in film. Yeah. Yep. I d- easily hated him. Clancy Brown is not much better. Clancy Brown, they, uh, the producer is set up so that he could go be with some guards to try to understand what it would be. He refused. He said, my character is too evil. I don't want anybody to claim credit for that. <laughs> yeah. I like the concept there because, yeah, yeah, you don't want any guards. He's like, I don't want anybody to feel like, see, I taught him to be like that. It's like, no, I'm not playing it like that. I'm playing, I'm an evil guy. Yeah, I'm the guy who teaches <laughs> other guys how to be a shit yeah. guy. <laughs> I mean, if, if the role is that, and yeah, you yeah. have like, well, I went to this, you know, uh-huh. prison and learned from these guys how to be a guard. It's like, well, yeah. that doesn't sound great, you know? You don't want guards yeah. to be just beating a guy to death and dragging him to the infirmary and leaving him there. And, until he dies, you know, like yeah, they didn't even call the doctor back in. No, he doctor left for the day. For the He'll day. look at him tomorrow. It's like that's terrible. Clancy that's Brown so was on the uh, Michael Rosenbaum podcast, and he was talking about Shawshank and how he got he got the audition, and he thought he did terrible, and he's like, no one responded to it. It's like, there's they're not calling me back. And then he heard some other guy got it, like a guy that like usually goes for the same roles. Hmm. He's like, oh, yeah, the guy got it, whatever. Then he got a call, like, hey, you got it. We're taking on a plane to Ohio. And he was convinced that that was a mistake, <laughs> but he wasn't going to say shit. He got on the plane. He met with uh, Tim uh, Robbins on the plane. They're like, you're in this movie? He's like, I think so. <laughs> and it wasn't until they started rolling. They're like, no, you got the part. He's like, oh, my God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible mistake. They yeah. sent the letter out to two <laughs> people. <really> funny. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, the movie itself was pretty good. I, yeah. I mean... It's, I don't know, it's interesting and it, it, it's weird to be like, most prison movies I feel like fall in these kind of things and that's what you see. Sure. Uh, and like I hope that's not the sure. case for most prisons, but I also yep. haven't been in a lot of prisons, you know. So like, Eric, what a, was your prison experience? That's a jail, uh, non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> that was a jail that I stood, I sat there for nine hours. Yeah. And it yeah. was barely uncomfortable. I worked in a prison at yeah. one point. Yeah. It wasn't actually running. We were building it at the time. Sure. <laughs> it sounds very different. It, sounds like it was very different. work. Yeah. But, uh, no, this I mean... Is, uh, well, it's... Like, I feel like it's so hard when you watch a movie like this way later because mm-hmm. it just builds up that reputation of, yeah. like, one of the best movies of all time. It does. Sure. And, like, coming in and watching that, like, that's always a hard thing to live up to. Sure. Like, the idea of, like, you know, just the books in the library, and it's like, oh, no, money's got to go to walls, guards, and bars, or whatever it was, you know? Like, we can't have it for books. We can't have it for actual rehabilitation Mm -hmm. stuff, you know, where people can better themselves or get educations or whatever. I have any idea how to live 
once they get outside. Yeah, like at the Brooks storyline there, where it's like he was just a librarian for like 50 years. That's like a whole movie in and of itself. It is. This movie, you know? That man was there from 1905 to... I don't know, 1966 or a little shorter. Long enough. Like, I saw a car before I went in. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> to be like, I saw an automobile once when I was a boy, and now they're everywhere. Like, that's crazy long. And then it's like, you expect him to just go out in the world and do what? What do you want him to do? Like, that's crazy. Can't piss without permission. I love it. Yeah. Oh, man, that part there with yeah. Red, where he's like, I spent you know, 30 years having to need permission to go to the bathroom. I love Red's like I'm not that same young angry stupid boy that sure. came in here you know it's because when you think about Brooks in the books in the book uh, Brooks was charged for he had a really bad night at poker and he killed his wife and his kid jeez so Brooks was not the same man that came in to Shawshank sure yeah did you know this is a Stephen King movie no I didn't know that it's based off a Stephen King novel short novel it's called Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption why is Rita Hayworth? Why is she? That's the name of the title. That's they, weird. They dropped they it. Cut it because it would point to it too hard. Well, with that, and they also, when they started casting for Rita Hayworth in the Shawshank Redemption, all these young actresses were throwing it. They're doing a story about Rita Hayworth. I am Rita Hayworth. So they wanted to stop that. So they just dropped it and called it the Shawshank Redemption. Hmm. But and Red is Irish in the book, but. Uh, Frank Darabout loved Morgan Freeman too much for the job. He like could not stop thinking of his voice for the narration. So when it came to the part in the book where he's like, "Why are you called red?" I, was like, I don't know. I'm Irish. Like they just left it. Morgan Freeman's like, "I'll make it a joke," and they did. And it played great. Yeah, <laughs> it worked. Yeah, maybe I'm Irish. No, maybe because I'm Irish. <laughs> yeah, Morgan Freeman, like such an iconic role for it's him. Iconic, yeah. yeah. He did a really good job. I don't know what all he did before this or anything, but it, it, it was weird because I've seen. Clancy Brown, and I'm like, I see such a difference from Clancy Brown here yeah. to like in Dexter that we saw. Sure. But Morgan Freeman, like, I feel like I just see that man. I just see Morgan Freeman. He's I don't like really Steve see much Martin, of a difference. He's always you know? been old. Yeah, I guess he's always had white hair. Yeah, just there's something about the same. maybe it's the like the blue denim look of the outfit, but there's something about the way Morgan Freeman plays this role that reminds me of my grandpa Whiteley. Yeah, there's just something about like the way he moves his hands. The way he was throwing, like, a ball, you know? Just he throws it, like, on the side. Yeah, it just felt like him. Um, but, no, Andy was interesting. I was wondering, too, as, like, in some of the aspects and stuff, yeah. just, like, the way he was interacting and doing stuff, too, I was like, well, he's a very quiet man. They, you know, he talks about his wife and how she described him and stuff, too. And yeah. I was like, maybe he's more of an introvert or maybe he's more of this and that. But then I'm also, like, when it gets to the end, I'm like, maybe he's not. Maybe it's more of, like how he was kind of playing things out and he made a plan and he's just strolling around dropping rocks out of his pants yeah. and you know like I don't know I was a patient guy curious and interested on on his character a little bit you yeah. know but no as it was going through I'm like we get that thing like maybe you could he's like you gotta take a long time like, well that's true but sure. he's in here for two lives <laughs> you know so like he has time yeah and him making his own chess pieces and stuff I'm like well he's got stuff for rocks he does it would make sense if you would find like pieces of rocks in his like jail cell or whatever Dust. you know yeah like stuff like that that like well I can't clean up everything but if my hobby is I'm chipping away at rocks it kind of helps cover up a little bit of that but there's also too, you know there's also the unspoken arc that he goes in where yeah he's been working on this escape plan for how long but he doesn't truly commit to it until Tommy is killed and he's like okay I, I'm going to leave like he oh, yeah. was slowly losing that hope that red was talking about sure but it wasn't until no i did not kill my wife they can prove it and the system still fucked me i got fucked twice now well, yeah you know like that's literally like yeah i have evidence like sh sure i was wrongfully committed mm -hmm. but i had no evidence otherwise and i wish oh, i, I want to have to the gun he's doing the river oh, it must have just been in the river i guess river. yeah like if you're but, on the jury hearing that story you could very easily believe that that man yeah. killed his wife but when you get like testimony and other things and the warden is like uh-uh it's like well that's some bullshit yeah and at that point there it's like well sure like i'm not gonna tell everybody what's going on which i think is a good idea because then you're not gonna get red in trouble or anyone sure. else so you like take kinda, me with you. You play it close to the vest and everything, and mm -hmm. then, yeah. No, I mean, he could have maybe been fine in here, but when you start getting to that point here, you're like, well, I'm helping a man who is definitely bad yeah. and whatever else, you know. And I was like, well, I'm out. And I love how he screwed him over. I love, I love like, the identity thing that he said he made up. I'm like, if he is trying to escape, 
he has a very good identity that he could just take and go running with it, you know? Like, that's yeah, a yep. sure. pretty good thing to do. And that's exactly what he did. Like, there's all this money. He took all that money away. What are you going to do? It's like, well, actually, it was him. And now what's he going to do? No, it's this imaginary man that we made up. <laughs> like, what, what do you do? You know? Yeah. Like, signatures yeah. match. <laughs> yeah, <it> makes sense. <laughs> so, it just... $300,000. I love that. It was really good. I also loved him talking to, like... He worked with the uh, one captain, the uh, what's his name? Hadley, I think it was, right? Byron Hadley, yeah. Where, hey, I'll help you with $35,000 and get all my men some beer. Get my co-workers some beer. Yeah. And he didn't even want beer. He just did it either to be, make friends or have a little freedom. And, you know, they just chilled up there for a little bit. That was really cool. Sure, yeah. I like that and the music scene, both. Both yeah. those are really There's cool. a moment, at least when I'm watching, where I'm like, I wonder if Hadley's, like, turning around a bit. I mean, yeah, he beat that guy to death. He did. I mean, he didn't get adequate care, but whenever he gives him the beer or whenever he a- attacks Boggs, yeah. you know, but he's, it's really just self-interest and he still shoots sure. Tommy, no problem. Yeah, like you hope his character arc is yeah. he sees these people not as monsters, but as people. Sure. Yeah. And like he changes and redeems. Because the other guards, they see the white handy. That was one thing I Cattle. wondered yeah. was like, is Shawshank Redemption? I was like, is Andy going to be like the redemption for Shawshank? Mm-hmm. Like, is yeah. he coming in here and he's changing the mind of the captain you know yeah. is he changing the way that things work in the prison and whatnot like he changed the library you know yeah like is he getting out of this and somehow eventually he becomes the new warden yeah like, you know yeah like, the that. Prison like look what this guy did as a prisoner in this prison yeah what if he was the warden you know but so, i was like that's an interesting story idea to have something like that but it, it didn't go fully that way and you have the yeah. warden being who the warden is and yeah, it's so. part of that unspoken arc because Andy is getting to the point where it's like, "This is this is my life. I will do good. I will make the library and help people get their GED. Yeah, like I will be a positive part." <coughs> and then on the opposite side, the warden is like, "I am showing everybody that I'm doing good, and look at the great thing I'm doing with this in and out program." But it is pure slave labor, and it like it's yeah. ruining the economy for the businesses around him. Yeah, like, and who gets it? Him. Yeah. He gets the money. Like Andy is yeah. being like, "Yeah." I'm the killer in prison, but I can do good. And this guy is like, yeah, I'm the warden, and I'm doing bad. So, like, it is a happy ending. They both get away together. But it's a sad ending, too, because that prison's still there, mm-hmm. you know? Like, sure. Sure, oh, yeah. the, that warden gets taken down or whatever, but... Yeah, I mean, what new stuff comes in, and it's just is it just another guy exactly the same as the guy before? Like, I know a lot of prisons, like, they were ran the same, and they yep. do a lot of the same shady bullshit and stuff because they're, they're made for profit. But they get government funding, I and mean, it's just a, it's a weird, well, like really society weird cycle, wants to you know? forget that prisoners exist. Yeah. You know, they want them away and out of mind, out of sight, and they don't yeah. care what happens. To instead them. of instead of you rehabilitate them and get them back into society, one taxpayers aren't paying for that, mm-hmm. you know, and you're hopefully fixing people and bettering them to go out and just be productive in the in the economy and in the world, you know. So, mm-hmm. no, I don't know. I thought it was interesting that Red, like he voiced himself as the only guilty man in Shawshank like everyone else was innocent but he takes the guilt of what he did like he takes the the ownership of it where yeah. everyone else is like I'm innocent like, hell yeah what happened to you lawyer fuck me you know like <laughs> alright <laughs> hey Wood <laughs> yeah it seemed like he made peace with it a while ago yeah the uh, guys the end that came in after the captain and the warden was that the guy from the trial that wasn't still Dale was it I don't think so for a second, I thought he was Dale when he first yeah. walked in. I'm like, that wasn't that guy a lawyer? What's he yeah. doing here then? That doesn't make sense. That actor does a lot of Frank Darabow. Like, he's in The Mist. He's in uh, Green Mile. Who he's, is Dale? Yeah, Dale. And then he was, Frank Darabow did the first season of The Walking Dead. <laughs> he's in The Walking Dead. Oh, so those are all movies that, like, yeah. Yeah. written by? Or directed, directed or? by. So Stephen King writes the book. I think Frank wrote the screenplay. Uh, Stephen King sold him the option for like because they were really good French for like six thousand dollars, and then Rob Reiner, who read the screen, screenplay, offered Frank like three point two million dollars. He wanted to do it so bad, and he wanted to cast like Tom Cruise and for stuff Shawshank? like that. Yeah, and uh, and uh, Frank Darabout's like, I can't, I can't do that. I can't looking, let looking you at the do numbers. That. Yes, <laughs> I should, but I can't do that. So he did. Tom Cruise, huh? It was like Tom Cruise and terrible. someone else. Uh, he would maybe be. Harrison Ford. I can't remember right now. Hmm. But it was more. It wasn't these two, which, like yeah. I said, like yeah, having like for the time, these are not two big names. Yeah, sure. 
Yeah, no, I get you. Yeah. Not like Tom Cruise. Yeah. Anyway. Like, I love Morgan Freeman in this. Like, he does a really good job. Yeah. So I'm glad they had him in here. And I've seen Tim Robbins in a bunch of stuff, but this is the thing I think about first. That, he that looks shot familiar, of, but I can't place him. Sure. You're talking about Andy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, the shot of looking down in the, in the thunderstorm as he gets out is it's so iconic that it's the yeah. first thing I think of whenever I think of that mm-hmm. guy. I love that he took his shoes and his outfit. Yeah. You know, he took his clothes <laughs> with him. It's great. <laughs> took a bar of soap, put him in a bag. Clothes. Now, he did have, he had his brown shoes on when he was climbing down out of his cell. So I wonder if that's a continuity error or if he had, yeah, he had another, pair of, another pair of brown shoes. He put shoes. the shoes, the clothes, and the documents all in that all bag. All in the bag. Yeah, that way they try. would stay, well, yeah. You can't have the smell of free, like shit, you yeah. know? He climbed through and, that small pipe 500 yards. And sure. having the rope tied to him so he yeah. could drag it behind him made it much easier to take that stuff through him yeah. through that tiny hole. Mm-hmm. That was big enough for him. I couldn't get that hole. I mean, you could if you made it big enough for you to fit through. Well, yes, <laughs> sure. Like, you couldn't fit through his hole, but you could fit through your hole. I, if I knew it was 500 yards and the hole was big enough for me, let's say. You've made the I, hole, Eric. I don't think I can start. You, well, But you make it. You but the make good the news hole. is you only have to make it 250. Yeah. Because After then, that, you, if, whether you go back or forward, it's the same distance. Forward well, is easier. Die in the middle. <laughs> and no one knows. Well, they, they know when they try to unplug it. They would have found you eventually. There'd be a rotor rooter eventually just poking me. Sure. Wait, you up. Are you talking later. about the pipe? Or are you talking pipe. about the okay? The pipe you didn't dig. No, I'm talking about the pipe. Hey, yeah. The pipe, though, you know is like... I mean, he had years and years and years to do the hole. The pipe... He had to wait until a thunderstorm and all the other things happened the exact moment to be able to break it open. Sure. And then you just pray to God there's nothing in there in your way. I know. What's the worst thing is like you follow the pipe through and you get to the end. There's like a grate there. Yeah. Yeah. You know? He has no idea. He just knows that pipe goes somewhere. I, mean, I feel like back in the day, maybe it's more likely like this is how it would have been. Nowadays, there's probably like fucking grates all over the damn sure, place yeah. to prevent it and shit. <laughs> Lasers yeah. and shit. Yeah, right? Like a <laughs> trap door opens up, you fall into some crocodiles. Yeah. Probably. I mean, if you're not sitting there with, you know, notes and paying attention like you do, I feel like it does a really, really good job of like kind of hiding what's happening to the point where you're like, oh my God, he's, he's dead in there. Yeah. He's dead in this. It definitely reasonably sets yeah. it up. It, it sets like, it up pretty well. When watching through, I'm like, like it was kind of what Rick said. Is it yeah. more... Is it a drama or a comedy, right? Yeah. Like, if it cut right then, and I never saw anything else, I'd be like, if he would have just walked in there yeah. and just looked in, I'm like, he, he died? You know, yeah. that's where it is. But because it kept going, and, you know, he's looking around, but the things they give you, like, oh, he gets a little of this. I was like, well, that's small. He probably can't really dig under the wall with that. Like, yeah. you're probably right. Take you 600 years. Yeah, and they even but, come out straight up in reference to Count of Monte Cristo. Yeah. Where yeah. Edmund Dantes spends 20 years digging his way out of that place and then it doesn't even work out that way. And then, uh, yeah, I've seen that one either. Or 15 years. I forget. Priest Actually, I might have watched it. Man, I did a real book report on it somehow, but I don't remember a damn thing about it. It's a great movie. It was a great movie. I know I used the movie to help me, but I don't remember actually watching through the whole thing. It's the first thing I ever saw Henry Cavill in. Oh, is he in that? Yeah, he's a young, young boy. I mean, there's a bunch of versions. He is. Yes. Yeah. But the one that we're thinking of. I think of the guy yes. Pierce and whatever his name I don't is know. Jesus I somehow knew enough to get a C on my book report no. just like uh, Tommy, his name yeah. just like Tommy Williams C plus average yeah. but it was C minus C plus it's average C, C plus. yeah you're right it was C plus I feel you but, can't, that's C T that's a plus a T is a plus why'd you think it was negative <laughs> I thought I was thinking of my brain till I saw my note. <laughs> Thank God for notes. <laughs> uh, but no, like what you're saying, like when you talk about the little man with the fake paper trail, I'm like, that's a really good idea. And then the more I thought about it, and it, yeah. sometimes it wasn't like it hit me in the moment. Yeah. Sometimes like, I think about it a little bit later, I'm like, oh man, if he does do that, he could do this. So I like take little notes. I put squares around this one. The volcanic glass rock, I was like, maybe it's the gun? I don't know. What, what would be under there? But also, I wasn't 100% sure if we were going to go to him escaping mm-hmm. or him killing himself. Sure. So it's like if he's killing himself, he's already placed it there. Yeah. But if he's escaping, he can put it there later yeah. on. When, when, he, when, when he told Brooks that he had already, like, I decided I'm leaving and I read, uh, I'm leaving and I will put something there to tell him. When, when I first saw the movie, I thought there was nothing and it was just so- something to give him to search for. Mm. You know? Sure, yeah. So, like, you have of something hope. to live for. Well, yeah. just having that was the only thing that kept him from doing what Brooks did, pretty yeah. much, you know? I made a solemn promise to my friend. Yeah. yeah. And it gave us but, 
what happens when you get there and there's nothing there? Like, <laughs> oh, I told the, you. the person's going to do one or two things. They're going to be like, this is what kept me driving. There's nothing here. And it sends them into a, a bad spiral. Or they think about like, I would have done something terrible, but because I wanted to search for something, I had hope for it. I should keep hope. I hope. I, I lean towards the other one if there's nothing there, though. Yeah, or there's just like, there's a lot of cornfields. So he just is always looking. Sure. Like yeah. You. Forever. Like Forever. he never finds it. He never finds it. Yeah. But he's still looking because he said he would. Yeah. No, I mean, I thought, like, the only thing I can think of is a gun. But it makes no sense because <laughs> if he had the gun and he's innocent, having the gun would have been really good to have. Yeah. And it would have made it so that he was, yeah. And if he chose not to buy a gun and to buy a compass just to lead him to a gun, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> he could have just bought the gun. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I was like. I can't think of anything else, but I like sure. that it's like just, hey, you found this, come find me now. Yeah. Like, All right, well, now I gotta find more stuff. And then he gets there and there's nothing there, there's another note, he gotta go yeah. somewhere else. Like, it's, for Red, it's probably just difficult to think that anybody is looking out for him or yeah. hoping for him to be there, but Andy is. Morgan Freeman describes this as like, it's his the favorite, it's his, for stuff that he's been in, it's his favorite love story. This happens to be between two friends. Sure. Yeah. And like, Andy was out for what would have been like 11 years or something right mm-hmm. at least 10 mm-hmm. from when he escaped he got to 40 yeah because it took him about 20 years to yeah. escape and stuff and then it was mm-hmm. 30 or 40 years for before he finally got stamped to be approved it took a long time there's never any black people on those juries mm-hmm. there wasn't the no no the, the, the committee board. which is in you know I guess for the time too I, I like that in this at least in the you know in the book they probably were all white and stuff but like I'd like to think like it didn't matter inside for those guys like they were prisoners like it's the color stuff doesn't matter you know yeah though in some in some scenarios in prisons and stuff it, it does in most you know yeah, yeah. but it I like happen here I like in this but, but, but like I said it's probably because yeah. in the book yeah. or whatever they were just white guys yeah but you have Morgan Freeman here and, and like there's some other guys too but it doesn't seem to be an issue in this one here but like I know there's there's a lot of that in current prisons. Like, well, there's, sure. there's that. I think I told you guys about. Like, there's that one guy that just goes around and takes off Aryan Nation tattoos from prisoners that had to get them. Sure. So they had like you're gonna be part of a gang. Here's your Nazi tattoo. Sure. And you, that guy just goes in. And he removes them for them. You got, you try to like fit in and not yeah. have things like what Andy had happening yeah. to him and whatnot, or, sure. or be killed. Mm-hmm. Which also I did love that it was like you stab me in the brain. I hear that that makes you bite down real hard. We gotta yeah, get a crowbar to get it off. You know. <laughs> and it's like. Like, yeah, Ugh, bugs. <sighs> Man, they beat him till he was paralyzed. Couldn't walk again. Couldn't and eat through a straw. Crazy. And I was like, part of me is like, hell yeah, I hated that guy. But also, I'm like, guards shouldn't do that. <laughs> you know, no, that's yeah. the other thing. You know, like I just at the yeah, time you were like, do doesn't feel so guys. good on the other side, does it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it only happened because of uh, Hadley. You know? Yeah, otherwise because he, he saved Hadley. him some money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's say we have an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this man's about to have an accident. <sighs> you gonna piss himself? But no, I really hated that they killed Tommy. Yeah, no. He was a night. He was a young kid. Mm-hmm. And it's he was in know, for. They know exactly what happens. Like he, oh, yeah. like they said, he had you know a year left, running and escaping. Like as young as he, he was, was time, yeah. from since thirteen, he'd been in and out of like most joints and stuff. Like it's not like he's like, oh no. I got better. This is too much. I got to run away. He was. But he also out. was uneducated. You know, he didn't have that much opportunity, and now he would have been given it by Andy, and they took it away. Mm-hmm. See, that's the other thing too. So, like, you know, Andy's like, I know what happened. I know he didn't try to run away and get a shoot. Is this one of those Luke, I am your father situations? Does because he never says time and pressure, but that's what I always think in my head, right? He says pressure and time. Yeah, he says pressure and time. Yeah, but I always think time and pressure. Oh, Maybe you always think of being under pressure. Maybe I just have it backwards. Time and pressure. But what are you talking about? Is this like a common like quote or something or what? I mean, at least in my brain it is, yeah. Like, time and pressure. I think of Andy Dufresne crawled through a river of shit and came out clean <laughs> on the other side. And I think of uh, the warden one. It's like, I like to think the last thing I went through his head besides that bullet <laughs> was how did Andy Dufresne get one over me or whatever it was I really like that one too man I thought he might I thought the warden might have killed himself but then I saw him load like the gun full six guns I was like well you don't need that many bullets maybe you're gonna kill yourself mm-hmm. sure but then like I guess through his mind he's thinking about what to do and it's like well 
You gonna shoot these people who? Yeah. Well, sure. You know, like they didn't do anything. If I'm taken alive, I get put in here where I've been a piece of shit to all these guys. Or you can put in any prison where <laughs> they find out you were the warden. Sure. And it's not gonna be a good time. I also like the quote of, uh, "Outside, I was a straight man, you know, but I had to come to prison to learn how to be a, co- a crook, you know. Yeah. Like being here is yeah. what made him a crook. Out there, it's a you very can... different movie if you learn to be a cook." <laughs> A cook, yeah. yeah. That's the lamb sauce. <laughs> You're staying here. You're so good. <laughs> but like, just the, just that concept. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's true nowadays as well. Like, prisons are the worst possible thing for for criminals. Sure. Like, they and don't it's... treat them well. They they put them in a position where their best option is to repeat their crime, and they also network with other criminals to become better and higher grade criminals. Sure. Like, oh, and, I've been working on this scheme for and you 10 have, years I've been working in here. You have, like, Tommy a lot less, like, he's not, like, sure, he's a repeat offender, but it's not he's like... Small time. It's not like what he was doing was the same as, like, Brooks. Yeah. You sure. know, like, he didn't go and kill somebody. He was stealing some televisions. But he gets put in prison, not for as long, but with the exact same people that are doing the terrible, terrible things, you mm-hmm. know? And it's like, well, like, what what are you doing to change this and stuff? And are those people going to affect him? Yeah. You know, like, I don't know. Or are they going to get killed because they're in here with these people and they don't, you know, like, they're not going to mesh. Yeah. Whatever it is. I mean, I guess they do have, like, minimum security, maximum security. Like, they have a little bit of a range in that respect. Sure, yeah. But it's also, you know, like... Uh, I've heard a lot of stories where, like, if you put a uh, prisoner who did st- something to a child, lots of times the other prisoners who, like, murder people and did bad things, too, will just kill that prisoner, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it's, it's just what happens. Not as, I mean, it, it, they're bad people. But they're bad people, too. But, like, yeah, their, their, their sentence was to, to be incarcerated, not to be murdered by these other prisoners, yeah, you know? exactly. And they're put in, in gen pop knowing that that's a possibility but it's cheaper sure so it happens it's you know sometimes like you'll have like a guard or someone say stuff you know yeah and it's like well now everyone knows or even if it's not true now people think they know yeah, <laughs> yeah. which can be worse and doesn't matter yep but the movie itself is a very interesting one I really liked Andy I thought he was interesting I really like Morgan Freeman I also like a lot of the guys around him like Hayward. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Haywood. Hey, Haywood. Haywood. Yeah. I liked him. I liked him, like, poorly singing Hank Williams. You know? He did all right. Yeah. Like, that guy's our president, right? Man, what else is that guy in? Isn't that right? That guy's from uh, The Rock. He's him? one of the Marines. Well, him, he, yes. him and the other guy are, too, yeah. I think, right? But isn't he our president in uh, MCU? <laughs> William Sadler? Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. He went from this yep. to being our president. Yes. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Iron Man 3, you ever seen Fuck. He still has. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, at this point, they would have. They, they went five years ahead. Well, sure. Unless like that affects your term. When if you get blipped and come back, All right, I got two more years left. I, missed it. <laughs> I know the secrets. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That'd be maybe. interesting. Yeah. yeah, that would be kind of funny, actually. It had to have, it probably happened to at least a senator or something. Yeah. Oh, I mean. Fifty percent happened to half of them. I mean, it happened to Trump when he was in office, and they came back, and they'd already gotten a new president, like for sure. Stop the like, steal! No fucking way! <laughs> I got four years of doing it. Oh my gosh, that'd be something. Uh, all right, well, yeah, yeah. No, it was a really good movie. I liked it. Mm-hmm. I was between: is he escaping? Is he dying? Or is he reforming the prison? And yeah. all of those things kept kind of changing as we went through. Yeah. So. How am I going to feel at the end of this? Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't sure. It was interesting to like kind of. That's why I'm like I'm taking notes, but I'm like I don't know if I say. Oh, I think he's gonna. There's it a hole behind that, you know. I'm like, but also for some reason, part of me is like oh, I shouldn't say that. I don't want to ruin it for the other guys if that's what they do, and it's a surprise. But you guys all saw it already. I should We've just literally all seen it. I should have just said them all out loud. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that you're like, is he living? Is he dying? It's exactly what they say. Get busy living. Get busy dying. It's yeah. been a long time since I've seen it. Though. Yeah. 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 It's been, it has it's been a while. It's been a while for me as well. But it's just still so emotional, and mm-hmm. the Brooks gets me every single every time. time. I, watch it. I know it's it. coming. Yeah, and it's a hard watch. Old people that are sad, I can't do it. They've got so much more to be sad about. Yep. And they know how 
how bad it can get. Yeah. It's just <laughs> he sad. Just, yeah. He did not like that manager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that would be great if it killed him. Like, it wouldn't. <sighs> I love that he wrote to his friends in prison, though. Yeah. yeah. No, I do, nice. too. And he called it home. He did. I yeah. home. He did. I wanted him to find Jake. I like to think he did. Uh, man, I thought he... I thought he died when he was feeding the birds because, like, the way he was, like, feeding them wasn't, like, this, you know? Sure. It was just kind of, like, it just kind of, like, fell. And then it was, like, did he die there? And then kind of panned up and he's just, like, this. He's sad. And then he went, like, this. Okay, he's alive. He's alive. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Fucking Elmo needs to be in jail forever. Yeah. 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 Elmo Blatch. They... You know, yeah, there's, not, a, there's, like a, there's a there's a podcast I listen to that like goes over like mythology of film where they try to find like various mythologies that these stories point back to. But Elmo just feels like the devil. Like he just he has no. They remor- cast the, like, the nastiest like, looking like, yeah, guy. Sure. Like everything else is like everybody gets their karma, <laughs> you know. But you know, this movie, it feels like. But Elmo just like yeah, I mean he comes in and leaves as the devil. He was caught for some stuff, yeah. But like the worm's like ah, he's probably out, gone by now and stuff like that. But I did like in the beginning, you're not really sure on what happened. It's pretty convincing that he did it. Yeah, I mean the the idea of having eight bullets in a six you know bullet revolver Mm -hmm. is like well, why would you shoot them? Again, like that seems much more like I came here to yeah. do this and I'm angry and it's a passion thing and whatnot. But Laurie did a good job. He, you know, he dropped his booze out there. We watched, we watched him load the gun. Yeah. You know, I mean, the but, biggest thing is just placing people at the scene of the crime. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like you, you have that stuff, but you, you don't have a witness. You don't have yeah. anything really placing him except for fingerprints and stuff. And if you have no evidence of anyone else being yep. around, like means, motive, opportunity. Goddamn lawyer screwed him over. But no weapon. You didn't have the the weapon. judge screwed him over. He was like, well, the ju- I can't even look at you without getting... <laughs> the jury should have been stuff. what screwed him over, too, yeah. like, depending on what the jury thought. But, I mean, that's also... I mean, very at, with that case. evidence, like, I probably would have been like, yeah, I don't have many reasonable doubt. Sure. Yeah, well, and, you know, he's hard to read, yeah. right? He, he doesn't yeah. look... He doesn't that appeal to the jury. That's what the judge was saying, though. And that's what the wife was saying, too, is that whole kind of idea of, like, yeah. I can't really understand you, so... You look like you don't care. You know? He's like, I, I really like that. He's like, I loved her, and I just didn't know how to show her. Yeah. Funny thing I'm is, sure if he actually had broken in there with a gun, screaming and being upset and everything. They'd probably still be alive. Probably, and she might actually know that he cared. Yeah. Sure. You know, uh, have to well, do something like that. Mild-mannered banker like his, him. His moment there when he's like, it's my fault she's dead because... I didn't show her that I loved her and she ran to someone else and stuff and like he feels guilty yeah. that she died because he didn't yes. know how to say I love and you. part of yeah. his kind of like becoming institutionalized and, and losing that hope, part of that is like I do deserve to pay for my sins. There's, despite me sh- having to be here legally or not, like there's a part of him that's starting to lose that and be like, no, sure. I should be here. But his, I like his thought there where it's like, I've, I've done, you know, I have my sins. Yeah. And I have definitely paid for them yeah. by now, you know. The more I, yeah. is like, but you're not a murderer. That doesn't make you a murderer. You didn't pull the trigger. That's yeah. the most important part. <sighs> All right, well, fantastic movie. Thank you everybody at patreoncom slash blindwave for voting on it. You guys got anything else? Yeah, if you uh, have a movie that's like, holy shit, you haven't seen that, put it down in the comments. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll go through the comments and see if there's any, and someone's like, well, I haven't seen that. We'll be like, what? You haven't seen that? Put it on the list. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you want to see more movies, or also the full length of this movie, all of that is over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can see the full reaction, and you can see the next four movie reactions available at patreon.com slash blindwave.